What's going on guys, Big Up The Cacks here coming at you with another gameplay commentary, Sniping Domination on Sanctuary out of the new DLC. This is probably my favorite map. And uh, I want to first thank you for the comments that I let, received on my last video. Uh, and I wanted to drop this this commentary as soon as possible because it's been about a week since I, I dropped the money whoring commentary. And uh, the response that I got on that was incredible. I asked the question and you guys gave me an answer and, and, and well, gave me a shit ton of answers. And I spent about an hour uh, after that video was posted replying to, to, to comments and, and having a discussion with you, which is why I like uh, doing commentaries. And... and uh, I, I want to get going with with uh, some of the some of your points, some of the, the the things that you guys were thinking about, and some of the things that that, that I replied. Uh, there were three things that, are, that that kept on coming up a lot, so I wanted to to take this this uh, this time right now in this commentary to to touch on on, on those and and maybe create a new conversation with you guys. Uh, so the first thing was trick shots. Um, although at one point uh, I was super against them, I. Uh, like anything else, you know, when, when you're very emotional about, about or you're very passionate about something, like I am about, you know, competitive Call of Duty and, and skill in gaming, etc. I felt that they had uh, no place in, uh, you know, in the game. Uh, something that I, I've, I've obviously grown out of, uh, you know, at the beginning I didn't, I, I, I thought it was cool and then I was like, I, I saw what it was and I'm like, man, maybe I'm not such a big fan of it. And then obviously now, you know, here we are today. This. There's obviously room for everyone. I mean, even some of the montages that we currently have now uh, have some some trick shooting in there. Uh, but we will never ever just be a, uh, a a trick shooting clan. I mean, I, I don't think I don't think that 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 for us would be. I don't know. It it just wouldn't be optic if we went and did that. Obviously, we have montages. There's a little trick shooting sprinkled here and there in the in the new team montages. But to to those of you who are saying that we should start a trick shot, uh, you know, trick shooting, that's you know, it's uh, it's not something that 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 I want, nor do do I think that my team is planning on doing. Um, and uh, not that there's anything wrong with it. I mean, there's obviously room. Uh, there's you know, some people like it, some people don't. Some people like commentaries, and and some people like montages. And that's the other two things that kept on coming out, coming up in the, in, the, in the conversation was, you know, there was the there would be somebody saying you need to stop posting gameplay commentaries, which was weird because we haven't really posted any uh, since. You know, since I last posted one, so uh, that was weird. But the dude said, you know, you gotta stop posting commentaries and you gotta start focusing more on montages. And then immediately, two comments down that line was, you got, you guys have to, you know, stop posting montages and you guys gotta get back into the swing of things with commentary shows, series, etc. So there was a, the, the, there was an equal. It was a very balanced uh, argument on pros and cons, or you know, those who were pro montages and those who were against it, and those who were pro commentaries and those who were against montages. So that to me just showed that you know we've done a good job. Am I happy where Optic is at the moment? I ha I really don't see anything wrong. What the views are down? So what? People say talk about inactive subs all the time. Like, bro. I, there's only like a, a small 10% of the people on YouTube that don't have inactive subs. I mean, when somebody, when I read a comment that says, oh shit, look at your inactive subs, 500,000 subs and you only get 50K views or 75K views. I say, look at Machinima Respawn, 1.2 million subs and only average 75K to 120K. It doesn't it, it doesn't bother to me because the, the 50K people that are watching or the 75 people that, 75,000 people that watch it, hey, I'm 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 doing this commentary for you. The other hundred, I mean, we not only that, guys, but we've been a lot around for a very very long time since 2006 is when we started making uh, video commentaries and uh, and you know people create channels, they subscribe and then they become they, they create a new channel because they didn't like the original one and then they stay subscribed and they just go and never use that that thing. So subscribers will never you know most of the time will never be accurate and and that's that. But uh, getting back to the to the actual the the actual commentary about the balance between montages and gameplays, when D Treats and I started uh, Optic Nation, the channel where Optic will center itself around, we said you know we're we're always going to keep a good balance of both montages and both montages and obviously uh, uh, commentaries, series, uh, you know shows, whatever, and like you know or really Casa de Dibadaya, Underage so on and so forth, the, the, the many ones. So I, I, you know, 
it's something that that we've always 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 wanted to do we 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 have never ever been a one dimensional uh clan we've always had a good balance of multiple things and i will always like optic nation to be that i you know i i want the you know half of the people that like montages to watch montages and i want the other half that are only here for commentaries to watch the commentaries and uh and and you know to us that's that well to me personally that has always been very very important because I don't just want to be a montage channel like I, I I've, I've never been just about doing one thing uh, I, I want to be able to cater to everyone and although in the past I, I've, I've liked to to do montages I don't think that that's something that that uh that I'm, I'm passionate about anymore I I, I, I I'd rather showed you guys an entire game of how I typically play my decisions in a game to to get the win uh, how I snipe and play the objective at the same time to get the win because I think in my personal opinion I think that that's gonna help you know you more if you're trying to become an actual sniper not just somebody that goes out and gets uh, gets feeds um, and obviously there's nothing wrong with going out and, and getting feeds but I personally have always had this thing to where if I hear unless I'm hosting an open lobby I don't ever want to hear four people sniping in a room because it to me it's it just takes away from the actual competition level. Uh, I'm cool if there's you know three snipers on the other team, but if there's three snipers on my team and we're losing, that's something that I'm 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 gonna hate uh, simply because I'm very competitive. And uh, so so again, back getting back, and I know I get sidetracked a lot, and that's why I like to get long gameplays because to me, getting a long gameplay allows me to to speak on a variety of things, like I am at the, in in this exact moment. And uh, another thing that our, that our gameplay commentary does, guys, is it gives me the opportunity to have a conversation with you. It gives the person playing a chance to hear what you, the viewer, is saying. Because I'm talking right now, but I'm going to ask a question throughout the video, right? And then you're going to leave it in the comment section, and I'm going to spend some time in the comment section after the video is uploaded. I'm going to respond to you. So that conversation, uh, that, that conversation dynamic is not there when there is a montage because with the montage you're just sitting there being entertained but if we're having an open discussion like we are right now then this obviously gives you the opportunity to have a conversation with me you know it's it's something that the, that that i've always liked about gameplays about it's something i've always liked about video games in general um how how our community is so based on that but that's obviously something that we can touch on a different place so you know for for optic to say you know what we're not going to we're not going to to post gameplay commentaries. We're only going to focus on montages. Is something that we will never ever do. Like I can't personally take, you know, turn my back on competitive gaming. Uh, that's our roots. That's where we started. You know, the majority of Call of Duty Two I spent on game battles. The the first half of uh, Call of Duty Four I, I I was competing. I was playing game battles matches, and uh, and you know what it is, guys. It's it's I, I can't get away from that. I never will. And I didn't quit my job to do something that I didn't want to do. So. For those of you who appreciate what we're trying to do here at Optic with the variety of both gameplay commentaries and the obviously the montages that we're creating, thank you for being a fan. Thank you for supporting what we do, and uh, thank you for appreciating the fact that we don't. We're not just gonna, you know, we're gonna obviously listen to what you have to say, and we're obviously gonna listen to your opinion on things. But at the end of the day, if we don't agree with it, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna put ourselves in a position to do something that we don't want to do simply just to please a a, a few people, um, and uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys will appreciate that. I I want to tell you guys though that I am now back in the full swing of things. I am I am shooting to to do uh, hopefully two gameplays a week, and uh, you know maybe I'll I'll bring back reverse psychology. I know a lot of you were a little bit. If you about it, but the majority of you have always been a fan of those series. I started I started Reverse Psychology back in in Call of Duty Four, so you know I've I've always had a nice a nice uh, a, a nice fan base when it came to that. Um, I'm also going to be starting a Spanish only channel for my personal gameplays. We do have Optic ESP, so if you speak Spanish and you're from Latin America or Spain or any other country that speaks Spanish as the primary language, and you don't often just want to sit down and, and listen to English and catch a few words here and there. Uh, we do have a Spanish channel that uh, that's called Optic ESP, but I myself am going to have my own personal channel and I'll make the, the announcement of the uh, Spanish only channel later. Um, but I did want to tell you guys that live streaming is very, very popular nowadays. And 
we actually are now streaming back on Twitch TV. So if you guys want to go follow the channel, twitch.tv forward slash Optic Gaming, uh, follow it and then you'll be you'll be uh, notified when uh, myself or Nate Shot or somebody else is playing game battles or just getting gameplays uh, and, and we'll be streaming it. Uh, I think it's a lot more honest for you to see the entire, you know, what what it takes to get a gameplay because not all you're, you're not always gonna get a forty and forty one and, and ten gameplay like I did this one. This one, this gameplay, I actually got it during a live stream. But anyway, this game is about to wrap up. It actually wrapped up just now. So please, guys, leave me your comments on on the on the gameplay. And if you guys have any other questions that you guys want me to answer in a future commentary, please leave those in the, in the in the comment section. In the meantime, here is a team Taj and click more to subscribe. Until next time, guys. This has been Off the Cox. I'm out. Peace.